Today we are exploring Khao Trong, a large island in the middle of the Mekong River and we're also going to go and look for some freshwater dolphins. It's our last day in Siem Reap. Actually, it's not really a day in Siem Reap. No, we're it's getting a on a bus day. right now and it's eight, like half seven in the morning. We expect this to take up to 12 hours. Our visa expires in four days time. We've really been here that long. Yeah. Wow. So we are heading for our final stop in Cambodia, which is crazy. trying to change onto a minibus. So we crammed in a minibus, as you can see, surrounded by luggage, for three hours. Everyone needs a toilet and everyone's really hungry. Happy days. Are you enjoying this trip, Jim? Yeah, loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, propping this up so that I don't get crushed by somebody's delivery. You enjoyed the emergency stops? I, yeah, I mean, I don't mind the little bus too much, but the emergency stops I do object to because I get buried. Are we on one. So we've made it to Crati. Pretty long day and we're all pretty tired and very hungry. So first stop is to go and find some food. Good morning, we are in Krati. Krati, not sure how it's pronounced. This, Krati. Krati. This is the Mekong River, which is one of the world's largest rivers and definitely one of the biggest in Southeast Asia. It goes through a ton of countries from China, Myanmar, uh, down through uh, Laos and through Cambodia and, and Vietnam off to the sea. Today, we are exploring Khao Trong, a large island in the middle of the Mekong River, and we're also gonna go and look for some freshwater dolphins. Five minutes and it was a grand total of a thousand rials a person which is about 25 cents and um, we're just gonna go and see if we can maybe rent some bikes or horse and cart or something so we can explore the island so one thing we didn't mention is it's our last day in Cambodia today uh, or last full day. Tomorrow we're crossing the border into Laos. Um, we're also still with Sasha and Johnny, who we met in uh, Kampot a couple of weeks ago. Now they're heading off somewhere different tomorrow. 
but we might see him again in Laos as well. It's our noble steed for the day. This little donkey. Call him Dave. Dave. Dave's a donkey. because we thought it'd be a bit more comfortable. In reality, it's really not big enough for four people. And we're having slight communication problems. We're not really sure where we are or what we're looking at. There's some sort of temple here. It's got the cool uh, uh, Chinese New Year animals lining the, um, lining the driveway in. So I guess it's some sort of Chinese temple, but I don't know anything about it. This is quite a nice way to spend a morning uh, on an island in the middle of the Mekong, just pottling around on our little donkey drawn cart. I do feel a bit sorry for the donkey. Um, it was good, but we need to go back, get some lunch, because the next thing is the thing that we really wanted to do, which is to get further up the river, about 16 kilometers, uh, where hopefully we will see Irrawaddy dolphins, uh, which are technically not a freshwater dolphin but they live in the river anyway um, really cool if we can see them fingers crossed So we have had some lunch and we are now all packing into a tuk-tuk and heading off further up the river maybe we think it's about 16 kilometers to see the dolphins. I mentioned it earlier they're Irrawaddy dolphins which aren't technically a freshwater dolphin but they live in freshwater so that is where we're off to next. come down to the river and we're gonna hop on a boat and go and see the dolphins we can already see them from up here on the shore but we figured going on a boat get a bit closer to the action and see them a little bit closer up apparently they are quite hard to catch a photo of though
so many dolphins already, they are so hard to get on video or photo, it's ridiculous. They literally pop up for a moment of seconds and they're gone. And the next time they pop up, they're somewhere completely different. So it's pretty cool. I haven't yet really seen the shape of their nose, because the Irrawaddy dolphins have this sort of short, flat nose, very different from a normal dolphin. So we'll keep trying. enjoyable way to spend our last day in Cambodia. And we did see Irrawaddy dolphins which was awesome. They were really hard to take pictures of or video though so uh, hopefully there's a little snippet in there but even so it was amazing to see them ourselves. We're gonna head back uh, into Krati now and grab some dinner but we're gonna call it a day there for Lavog so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Friday? Yeah. Yes, 62. Uh, should be 60? Yeah, 62. No, it should be 60. 12 times 5, 60. Yeah. Not 62. To be 60? Yes, 60. No, 60. Not 62, 60. 12 times 5 is 60. Oh, 60. Yeah. Ooh.